first one, uh, which uh, was funny, and that was the idea of how do I deal with people that irritate me, right? Uh, this is obviously uh, prevalent in everyone's life um, because we're always around people that irritate us, it seems. And um, but the funny part of all of this, and I was trying to kind of wrap myself away how to answer this in the best and simplest way. And it all came to me, and it was actually it was actually like a an eruption of compassion that I was having, because uh, when you ask this question, you know how do I deal with people that irritate me, uh, and you look at other people, okay? So you look at other people for an instance, and they're going about their lives, probably a answering or asking very similar questions to you. They're trying to figure out their career path. They're trying to figure out their family. They're trying to figure out who they want to be with for the rest of their life. They're trying to figure about uh, where they want to travel, all their goals, how they want to change their body, all of these things, right? And when you really think about it, are these not the things that you're also thinking about? The exact same things on almost every front. So when you think about that, or when you just feel that, for instance, it's just like an intense feeling of compassion. Because all of these other people that may be irritating you or on their own path and you don't like them or that you like them or whatever it is, they're all just trying to do the best they can, right? Trying to do the best they can on their own journey that may be different than yours, but the principles in, inherent in them are the same. The pathways, the kind of progress, it's all the same. So when you look at somebody else and you condemn them for whatever it is they're doing, really you're condemning yourself. You're condemning another mirror of yourself. And we always talk about the mirror component, right? Where whatever this is happening, whatever is happening here, is the mirror that's going to happen upwards. Everything based on perception. So, I mean, when you really think about it, on the, on the ideas of the things that irritate you, generally the things in which irritate you about somebody are very small. They're generally very small. And they're also things in which only you really see, right? It's like, oh, this thing really just irritates me constantly about this person. And the person beside you is like, yeah, I see it, but it just doesn't, like, it just doesn't, I don't know, it just doesn't bother me that much, right? And this is very prevalent in most people. And, you know, why is this? Well, really, the reason why you can pick up on it, firstly, is because you're clearly quite, uh, you know, understanding of it yourself because you're somebody who's done this, or has done it, or continues to do it. But on top of that, you're denying every aspect of that and just projecting, projecting, projecting. Right? These little, little things in which you're irritated about, you know damn well that it's you who does this. But looking at it for yourself is much, much easier, or much harder, than just projecting it outwards. So, there's a couple ways in which you can really kind of sink into this a little bit. Because, I mean, I'll get into the whole idea of like the testing, the idea of like the testing aspect. But the first real way to kind of get away from all of this is firstly just true acceptance. Acceptance, firstly, of this is a part of you. Whatever I don't like about somebody is definitely a part of me that I'm noticing in someone else because it's so prevalent within me or has been in the past and I'm still I'm trying to get rid of this kind of karmic debt or karmic issues. And having no expectation. Mike taught me this probably 100% the biggest thing. No expectation out of anybody derives perfection. Because if you have no expectation out of the way somebody should act, then the way they act is the way it should, it should be. It's just, that's it. If you have no expectation over anything in your life, whatever happens, happens, and that's the way it should have happened. Because you're not trying to manifest, you're not trying to pick it, and it just, that's the way it happened. So that is the simplest way to get over all of these things. And this doesn't just relate to people, this can relate to anything. This idea of no expectation. Because then in that sense, that ultimate compassion comes out, ultimate acceptance, and the, just a flow, a consistent flow. Because you're not worrying about that other person, your, your, your attention is focused here. The other idea here is, I mean, you have all of the power, right? As soon as you're giving yourself up, the idea of giving up your power is the idea of giving up your emotional power. So feeling resistant or irritated by somebody else is, of course, you giving up your power to them. They're making me feel irritated. So what, you don't have control over the way you feel? You don't have control over your thoughts or your emotions? Of course you do. So, Giving up your power, this can relate to a lot of things. And I mean, if you don't have the courage, I mean, it's, there's also situations where people step over principles, step over the line, step over certain values. And this is where courage and, and, and confidence needs to come into play for you to actually tell them or act upon it. But if you don't have that, then there's only one person to blame, right? Nobody else. Now, the idea of the, uh, the, the testing aspect of this is 
Say you've been working on a certain habit for the longest time and you're getting rid of it and you thought you got rid of it, it was gone. The test is no longer with you. Now the test is seeing it in another and being able to still not get reactive to it. Because as long as you're getting reactive to things external, that's still something within you. Because it's not actually external, it's just an illusion. So that's the test. That's the test to really make that next step outside to get rid of that real deep habit that you've been trying to get rid of. When you finally actually don't care about the other person doing it. That's when you know. But that's the ultimate test. And the idea of releasing and these types of things, releasing attachments to friends, I mean, this is just like what we just practiced. You know, generally, you're going to go through, I mean, if you sink into a feeling of abundance, and there's 7, million, 7 billion people in this world, and the one friend is not going along this path with you, and you're sitting so irritated by it, well, clearly, that's a time to release from that. doesn't need to say goodbye. It just means release from that attachment of them going along this journey with you. Because guaranteed, as you go through this spiritual process or deeper meditative process, this will happen over and over and over and over as more people come into your life and then out of your life, right? And you need to be okay with that, that detachment, right? I don't know if anyone has to share to, to something like that because I know we all have issues with, with people at times, but if you do, go ahead. If not, I will go on to the next one. I think the key with that one is uh, what you were saying, but everyone's in this like state of like urgency. And I think like the knowledge stuff actually makes it worse because like it's like you read something or like you learn something like just covered learning and then you feel the need to like okay we gotta go do it like now like right now but like it's it's points because everyone will grow at their own time and like you'll learn your lessons at your own time and everything's like on your own time as much as like you have to find a balance there but like you said what you were saying about like love if everything if everyone is acting out of love but the only way to act out of love is to just do things that you love doing right you'll eat when you're hungry you'll go to sleep when you're tired but does it make sense to just eat so you don't feel hungry like it's stupid? So like it's the same thing, like you just do what you love, then naturally you're going to find your purpose and naturally everything else will just kind of like flow and you'll grow at your own rate. So there's no sense of like urgency. And that's when you'll have like the real patience with like people. But I think that's key. True.